Today I'm going to show you how to store data inside of a dot properties file. Now, like many games like Minecraft will use this, and when you have a server, you'll use a dot properties file. But I'm getting a little bit off topic here. My point is that dot properties files are extremely useful to save information in. Such as when you're like building a game, you want to save the player's progress and you don't want to like get into a bunch of code because then you might make a mistake and yeah. This is how to create a dot properties file in Java and set some values. First of all, you will need a property Java dot from java.util. So Java so properties. I'll just call mine prop equals actually we'll do that in the constructor. So property is prop and then file writer. I guess we'll just call it write. And then import that as well. If you guys didn't know, you can just do control shift O to import things. Inside of here we'll do prop equals new property. Like, you don't need to put anything for the parameters, but for the file writer, you do. Then, this is basically the file that you want to write to. We don't have a file, but it's going to create a file for us. Now, the good thing about this is, you don't have to put a dot properties at the end of a file. Let's say we just want to do it a simple dot text dot txt file, or maybe you don't want your you don't want everybody to see it, and you want to do it a dot game file, or a weird or another extension that hopefully people don't know. Well, you can do any of you can do any of that. You just need to type in the name of the file. I'm just going to be doing property dot set txt. You guys can use like dot properties if you want, but I'm going to be using this. Now we have to surround this with try and catch because it may not work. And it's just going to tell us the error if it doesn't work. And now what we have to do is we have to store a property because that's what this is all about, right? Prop dot set property. Wait, I'm going to make some a, some string variables here. So string name equals degree muffin man. And yeah, so for that will do name, set property to name, and wait, I messed up, so name, and the value is going to be the name, so it's going to say name, but it's going to tell us the name, if that's not confusing. And after we've done all that, what we want to do is actually store it inside of the property like we've set a couple of pro we've set the property but we haven't really stored it inside of the property thing so we do prop dot store and now is the time where we'll need our file writer since i called mine write i'm just going to call it write and this and this is basically some comments that you want like maybe in the beginning you want it to say made by blank i'm just going to do hi in the comments like i wouldn't see why you would do that but hey i'm just gonna do it and this may is well may not work so i have to surround it with try and catch And yeah, after we've done all this, we have to close the writer that we've made. 
so that it can actually process everything into the file. So we just do write dot clone. And again, this may not work, so we have to surround it with try and tap. I don't know if this will work if you use like finally, the finally keyword here, and yeah. But this is the way I know how to do it, so I'm just going to do it that way. Now, if we run this right now, it's made our file, but we can't see it inside of our project because we need to refresh the project folder. So you just right click on it and you push refresh. And yeah, or you can just push F5. You'll have a properties.txt file or whatever you called it. And as you can see, it did work. I'm going to change mine to properties.prop. Wait, no, I'm going to change my prop dot property because I just think that it's more suitable. But anyway, so it's made whatever we've written, and yeah, that's pretty much how you make the property a properties file. If you want to know how to read properties file i'll be making that video soon hopefully it'll be up by the time you watch it but yeah if you guys enjoyed it feel free to leave a like comment or even subscribe to me as it really helps out and yeah a so the source code to this will be in the description so you can just copy and paste the code or if you want to troubleshoot your code if let's say you forgot something then you can just go to that link yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. And Wiggly Muffin Man signing out.